Hello? Is that Nick speaking? Hi, yeah, it's Nick here. Hello, this is Ellen. Listen, I just called you because we're in the process of planning a drilling campaign and I heard that centralizers are important, but I'm not quite sure why. I am sure you are the person to ask, so could you tell me what they are and why they are important? Yeah, sure. Thanks for asking. I think I can help you. Basically, centralizers are used in drilled boreholes to make sure that the casing sits centrally away from touching the walls. There are many types available, but they all serve this same purpose of creating a regular space between the casing and the borehole walls. Without this space, you'll have major problems to install the gravel pack, which in turn can have major impact to your well. What do you mean exactly? Well, so without a well-placed gravel pack, the borehole casing can be in direct contact with rock or soil material surrounding. This can allow sediment to enter the borehole, which can cause you to pump turbid water, which can damage pumps, clog boreholes, and impact water quality and treatment processes, leading to premature aging of the well. Okay, but the contractor here doesn't, uh, doesn't seem to want to use them. Why do you think that is? Sometimes drilling contractors avoid using centralizers because they believe they add costs and time to their work. But actually, they're an essential part of any borehole installation. Make sure they're included in contract agreements and please don't go ahead without them. They're cheap and easy to use and help prevent very serious problems. OK, to find the right ones for our projects, which ones do we need? There's lots of different types available. They can be made of plastic or metal and they can be homemade or factory made. Generally for water supply wells, plastic centralizers are used as they're far more flexible, light and do not react with water. Typically these come in the form of three or four strips or wedges attached around the outside of the casing that can be adjusted to different diameters. These are available from suppliers of drilling equipment and casing. Oh, so we should definitely go for commercial ones then? Well, the commercial ones are preferred, but I understand these can be difficult to get hold of in remote areas. In such situations, it's relatively simple to fabricate an effective alternative using commonly available materials. Homemade centralizers can be made from rings of HDPE pipe and cable ties. And what about the metal ones then? Metal centralizers are heavy, they can be difficult to install and can even cause damage to the casing and borehole walls. They're only really used in deep installations with steel casing. If you're using metal centralizers, make sure that they are made of the same material as the casing to avoid preferential corrosion. And what about the choice of the size? The size of the centralizer is determined by the space between the casing and the borehole walls. This space should be consistently two inches and an optimum of three inches all around the borehole. But don't worry, most centralizers are adjustable to a range of different diameters and borehole. Centralizers should be just smaller than the available space, by approximately half an inch. If the centralizers are too big, they can get stuck during installation and can also scrape against the borehole walls, causing collapse and damage to the borehole. OK, thanks. How many centralizers do we need to put in total then? So the total number of centralizers will depend on the depth of the borehole and also the length of casing to be used. Centralizers are fitted at a regular spacing all the way along the length of the casing installation, typically at about six to nine metre intervals. Please make sure that they're not placed directly against the screen intake sections. The danger with putting too many centralizers on is that this will increase the chance of blocking gravel installation, leading to voids in the gravel pack, which is called bridging. For the same reason, they must not be too large or cover too much area. Are they expensive? No, centralizers aren't really expensive. They're actually relatively cheap. The cost for commercial ones range somewhere between $1 to $10 each. And when considering the total cost of a drilled borehole, this is a negligible cost. However, the impact of not using them on the sustainability and lifespan of the well can be enormous, leading to much higher operation and maintenance costs, or in extreme cases, even lead to well failure. Thank you so much. I feel like a real specialist now. Are there any other things we should watch out for, though? 
Yeah, one final thing I would say is to make sure that you have a supervisor check on the centralizers which are to be used before installation, especially if you're going with the homemade option. I've seen rope, wood, and old pieces of plastic and metal being used, which can all be contaminated. So please make sure the centralizers you use are made of approved water supply materials. It's, this is important general advice for anything that's installed into a well. It's extremely important to make sure everything is clean. Under no circumstances should contaminants or unsafe materials be introduced to the borehole. Good luck and let me know how it goes. Thank you very much. Now, I suddenly understood everything about, about these centralizers. centralizers yeah. so. Thank you very much. No problem. Bye. Bye.